When you are shopping at a store, the purchase and payment happen all right in front of your eyes and then you happily walk away with your shopping. But that's not the case with online shopping. From browsing to purchase to delivery, it's a long life cycle and that gets a shopper jittery. Have they got my money yet? Have they dispatched my product? Where is my product? Which is where the customer notifications come to your rescue, communicating to the customer at every step of the way. Let's look at what notifications are sent out and how we can customize them to match our brand identity. So where can you find these customer notifications? You can find customer notifications under the settings menu. There are two types of notifications that are sent out to your customers, email notifications and SMS notifications. There are in all 12 customer notifications that get triggered depending on your customer's activity on your store. Let's have a look at them one by one. The registration email is sent to all your customers who have successfully registered on your store. Next, a notification that is sent if a customer places a COD order to your store. These order emails have corresponding SMSs that get sent too, which we'll look at later. Similarly, there are different emails triggered for every mode of payment, be it a PayPal payment or an online payment order paid through a credit or a debit card or a bank deposit order and even orders placed via delivery, that is cash before delivery. Next are emails that are sent once the order has been placed. Like if an incomplete order wherein a customer could not complete his order due to any reason, orders that have been cancelled, orders that have been shipped. Now like we said, all these emails are editable and customizable. So you want to say hello instead of hi or you want to add some HTML design. That's all in your hands now. But the emails have some dynamic text that can change as per every customer. This dynamic text is denoted by these yellow highlighted parts called placeholders. Placeholders are text snippets that can be used to place dynamic information into the template. You can edit or replace the placeholder with another one but not add new ones. You can edit the template by clicking anywhere within the template, like this. And then the editor options will open up with options for styling, deleting text, adding tables, among other functionalities. You can find all this information in the editor's note too, for future reference. Now let's look at how we can edit these templates. How about editing the subject line of the online payment order email? I would like to make the email content a little less formal. And all I have to do is write up a new one right here. You can also add an image to your email like this one. Once you are done, you can save the template and move on to the next. So get creative, design your notification emails and keep the sales coming. As mentioned, there are corresponding SMS templates for the same. Since these templates need to be approved as per TRI regulations, we have uploaded pre-approved SMS templates for you. Hence, they are for your eyes only. And you can see each one of them under this section. All the best. If you have any queries, please write into us at support at zeppo.in or you can give us a call at 0922 358